Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Jacinta here and it's good to be back. Today I want to talk to you guys about the virtue of chastity. And I got this man behind me, St. Augustine, who's towering over me. I'm a little intimidated, but we'll get through it. So I want to talk about chastity because there's this girl that sent me a comment on YouTube and I quote, she said, should we put our boyfriends in chastity cages? It would be great if all guys were on board with this message. And I think that comment is very sincere. And I think that, I mean, her heart is in the right place. So I wanna talk about that. I heard a quote in class this week from Professor Bushman that really got me thinking about the virtue of chastity. He said, love will undergo the crucifixion of patience. And I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, can you can you say that again? Because I need to write that down. And so he repeated himself. Love will undergo the crucifixion of patience. Perfect love will undergo the crucifixion of patience. And it just reminded me of the virtue of chastity. That with chastity, it's not like we're repressing our desires or we're locking ourselves up. But with chastity, what happens is it reorders our desires. Our desires for another aren't bad. Our desire for a relationship is not bad. Um, our desire for marriage is good. Good. And with practicing the virtue of chastity, you're allowing God to reorder your desires. And it's hard. This man behind me, St. Augustine, he said, God, give me chastity, but not yet. He didn't want to give it up. And I get it. It's totally tough. I've been there before. Um, but once you cross that line and you start over and you begin to begin a new life, um, and you go to confession and hit the reset button, you're so much more free. So what I want to do is I want to tell this young girl um, to live the virtue of chastity out and to pick men to date, or guys to date, who are going to help you live this virtue out because you don't want to pick somebody who's going to just tolerate your morals. You want to pick somebody who's not only going to wait with you, uh, not only going to wait for you, but who's going to wait with you. And so I hope this helped answer your question. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye.